Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Psalm 111. The Reverend Sean Denzer is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. Psalm 111. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Praise the Lord, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. In the company of the upright in the congregation, great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full of splendor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people he has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice this have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. A reading from Exodus the 34th chapter. Then the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with Moses there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him, proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. And he said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, please let the Lord go in the midst of us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin and take for us your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I am making a covenant before all your people. I will do marvels such as have not been created in all the earth or in any nation, and all the people among you, among whom you are, shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 111 is the first of the Hallel Psalms in the middle of the Psalter, a group of psalms beginning with one of the Hebrew words that we still say, even as English speakers, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I will praise and I will give thanks, the psalm begins. But in the scriptures, unlike some hymns, you do not find idle statements or empty promises. David and his companions don't say, I love to tell the story 
but then never get around to telling it. No, the Lord dwells on the praises of Israel no less literally than he once dwelt between the cherubim above the Ark of the Covenant, visible and powerful, known to all. That's probably why the Greek translation of this psalm says, Alleluia, I will confess the Lord. The praise of our God is the telling of his deeds. The thanksgiving of our God is the recounting of his many mercies and steadfast love. As we'll be reminded next week, his mercy endures forever. So our giving of thanks also goes on continually. There's always more to tell about God, always more truth in his words to discover, more wonder in his deeds. And I do not say that to belittle anyone for not knowing it yet, but rather to encourage everyone. As Hosea says, let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. Or as Christ says simply, you are my disciples. You are those who abide in the Lord's word, growing in knowledge and understanding of his works all the time, progressing in delight. And that is not to move past it, but rather to dwell in this Lord's great works and so to continue also to speak and to sing and to confess them until life's end and beyond. We seek these works. We even study them. We research them, as verse 2 says in our ESV. Not a glamorous translation. But then again, disciple is hardly the glamorous word that sometimes we're tempted to make it out to be either. What are the works of God that fill our praises as Christians? The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear Him, a testament that He will never forget. He brings the nations as an inheritance, joining them with His own people. He sends redemption. The praises of Israel were always the songs of the Lord's Passover in one way or another. His awesome deeds at the Red Sea, making a way of redemption and exodus for them. The destruction of their enemies, allowing Israel to pass through, not only unscathed, but plundering their former captives from, captors from Egypt. Then the covenant on Sinai proclaiming His holy and awesome name, the Lord, the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. And the feasts of triumph, beginning with the Passover itself, then God providing food in the desert and giving meat also to the priests and to the people in the tabernacle's observances. For us in the New Testament, the story has not changed much. Because our Lord, the very same that they worshipped, the one who is slow to anger but abounding in steadfast mercy, our Lord has accomplished His Passover, truly. He has shown that His righteousness endures forever in the justifying death and resurrection of Christ. He makes atonement and He establishes a covenant forever. He redeems his people by his own blood. He gathers even Gentile nations together into the New Testament Israel, and he provides food for us. And we sing together also in the congregation, as often as we can gather as a congregation. Seek where you may. Seek the great works that lead to your salvation. We join the continual procession of disciples, of researchers, confessors, proclaimers, and singers of the great works of God in Christ Jesus. Because His works endure. He has justified us once and for all. He redeems His brothers and makes us a congregation now of the upright in Him. And we do not tire of these praiseworthy deeds of our Lord. They are our delight. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. Today we pray for Chaplain Charles Malley, who is deployed. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.